Girl number one says she caught her boyfriend cheating when she looked through his phone, but she couldn't find actual evidence that he did anything. She just knows that he hung out with another girl. She's like, what should I do? My advice, leave him. Now you should follow suit and just get to the back. People gonna talk either good or it's bad. I see people gonna talk either good or it's bad. Welcome back to the Empress King show. Y'all like this song? I'm mad up. <laughs> Alright, no, for real, y'all. Welcome back. So, this is a new segment that I'm starting on my show called Ask the Empress. It's gonna be like an advice column to your love and relationship problems. Um, this is my first time doing this. If you want me to feature your question on my channel, message me on Instagram and I'll tag my Instagram right here. DM me if you want to be anonymous. Just DM me your question or DM me your story and I will leave your name out and I'll give you my best advice. Or you can comment below and leave comments. Just whatever one feels more comfortable. So I asked a few people around. So we're going to call this girl girl number one. Girl number one says she caught her boyfriend cheating when she looked through his phone. He was at her house and he was sleeping or whatever and then she went through his phone because she has his password. She saw that he had been texting other girls. He hung out with a few other girls. She doesn't know if they did anything, but she hasn't confronted him about it because she didn't want to like tell him that she went through his phone. But she knows he's been doing something, but she couldn't find actual evidence that he did anything. She just knows that he hung out with another girl. So she's like, is that cheating? What should I do? My advice? Honestly, leave him. Leave him. First of all, yeah, I get it. You shouldn't have been snooping around in his phone, but you snooped around his phone because you felt something was off. Unless you wanted them paranoid crazy girls. We not just snooping for our health. We not doing it for no reason. If we doing it is because we feel like something's wrong. And if you feel like something wrong and you found exactly what you're looking for, I'll tell you why you need to leave him. I've been cheating on and I'm not with that dude no more. I went through his phone. I found him cheating. And you know what I did? I let him talk me in to staying with him. And you know what he did? Yes. <laughs> And again, and I kept staying, and that was on me. And then my friend had told me at the time, he was like, if a dude cheat on you, leave him because he's gonna do it again. I kept telling myself, no, he don't know what he's talking about, he don't know, woo, 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 and never happened again. No, he was right. Leave him, sis. Leave him, girl number one. Next scenario. This is gonna be guy number one. I have a crush on this girl. She is really gorgeous, and she has the best personality. She's really popular. All these guys are all the guys like her. I don't know if she would be interested in a guy like me because I am a shy guy, kind of guy. Sorry, I can't read. I am a shy kind of guy. What should I do? Okay, first of all, do not downplay yourself, guy number one. Don't matter if she the most popular thing on a planet. You are special in your own way. You know what I'm saying? She might like shy guys. Just because she's a girl that's super popular doesn't mean she wants a super popular guy. It don't mean that she wants the guy with the loudest mouth. She might like the guy that's shy in a corner that's to himself. She might need that balance in her life. And if you just be yourself, or you step to her on some real stuff, girls appreciate that. And girls appreciate a confident guy. It don't matter if you shy, you just have to be confident in yourself and proud of who you are. If you a shy kind of guy that likes to sit back in the background, that is fine. That don't mean she's not checking for you. She might think you cute, but she might not want to send this to you because she like, I don't know if he like me. Kind of want y'all to take that next step, take that initiative and say something. I say tell her how you feel. I mean, the worst that could happen is she don't feel the same and then now you know what it is. And it's not going to be the end of the world. It's plenty of girls that will talk to you. It's plenty of girls that will like you. It's plenty of girls that will rock with you for you. There ain't nothing wrong with your shy boy. Tell a girl how you feel. And also just detach from the outcome. It might hurt your feelings a little bit but now you know she might see you with another girl and then she gonna be like oh wait a minute i tweaked on him we're gonna call this girl set her three she didn't want me to put her name in here basically i'm not gonna read this long thing she got a friend who is just always negative always a debbie downer like she never wants to go out whenever they do go out she's always that one friend that's in the corner judging everybody rolling her eyes she always the friend that's ready to go she always got something negative to say about everything and everybody super negative but she's been friends with this girl since they've been little kids and they're grown now what should i do honestly drop that girl drop that out. we've been friends for so long that's cool and all, um, but when somebody's draining like that and they taking away from your energy, they're not adding anything to your life. You don't owe them anything. We grown and you only want to surround yourself with positive people, uplifting people, people that's pushing you to be better. Not people that's just judging everybody, negative, always upset. You don't want that type of energy around you because it's going to start to rub off on you. And if that's not the type of person you are, which I'm assuming is not, you don't need to be around that. Sometimes you got to love people from a distance. I had a friend, we fell out for about a year. We have been friends since 
since I was like 12. We stopped being friends in college for like a, a year and we needed that time apart to kind of like learn and discover who we are as individuals outside of each other. And we ended up coming back together a year later. She was a better person, I was a better person. We were able to express our differences in a more adult-like manner. We don't hang out super tough like we used to, but that's still my day one. Still have this mutual love for each other, but we grew apart a little bit and that's okay because that's what happens with people in life. But that doesn't mean that you love that person any less. It just means that you're heading this way and they might be heading that way. And some people you just gotta let go for good. I didn't have a lot of friends that I had to cut off. I didn't have a lot of friends that cut me off. And that's okay because we got different paths and not everybody can go where you going. You can't go where everybody else going. She just might be a friend that you can't take with you. And the more you try and pull her with you, the more it's gonna weigh you down. Then you gotta let go of the dead weight. And if it's really meant for y'all to be friends in the end, y'all gonna come back together when it's time for y'all to come back together. But sometimes you gotta release people. All right, we're gonna call this guy Smooth Operator. So Smooth Operator is in a situationship with his girl lady friend or whatever. She's not quite his girlfriend, but they do everything like a couple. You know the type of situations that I'm talking about. They hang out all the time. They're sexually active with one another. They're technically mutually exclusive. So he's kind of not mutually exclusive, but obviously she don't know that. She also knows that she's not his girlfriend at the same time. And he likes his girl, but he does not want to wife her because he doesn't feel like she's the one for him. What should I do? I feel like y'all need to stop wasting each other's time. Y'all not going to date, but y'all still going to act like y'all dating. Y'all might as well just not date and call yourself friends and keep it 100 with each other y'all wasting each other times we too old for that either you gonna have her or you not don't waste her time making her hold out for you because she thinking one day you gonna cuff her the whole time you not looking at her like she gonna ever be wife you're not selling her a dream but you're also not telling her the whole 100 truth and sometimes a girl needs to hear that especially if she a naive girl or especially if she nice you know what i'm saying not all girls are strong-minded and i feel like some dudes be praying on that that's not fair to her it's not fair to you because you could be missing your beat with somebody else you could be blocking your blessing from the girl that's actually meant for you but she can't come in because you occupied your energy occupied with this girl who you don't even care about for real or she might see how you treating that girl and she looking at you like i'm not even gonna send it to him because i don't want him to do me like that now the girl that you actually meant to be with is nowhere to be found because you playing around with this little floozy you feel me if you're the girl in the situation don't let nobody treat you like you're an option don't let nobody treat you like you just gonna always be here or like you don't deserve more if you know you want more from this person express that and if he's not willing to give it baby step because he gonna find somebody that's gonna do the same thing you doing he probably already got somebody that's doing the same thing you doing you just don't know about her because you the man you never want to be nobody's man you want to be the one and only baby the one and only and you definitely don't want to be no sad smooth operator let her go g you're being selfish you know she clearly rock with you the long way and you don't rock with her the long way so just you feel me be 100 with her like don't lie to her don't keep dragging her along it's not cool that's lame being a little boy last one i have a boyfriend and he's uncomfortable with my relationship with my guy friends before we dated i always hung around my friends who were predominantly males i don't really get along with females because i've always been into sports but now that i have a boyfriend he has a serious issue with me hanging around my guy friends when he's not around what should i do okay i get it guys can be a little insecure when it comes to their girls hanging around males and a lot of it has to do with the fact that they know how guys think so like in the back of his mind he probably feel like some of these guys like you secretly if y'all do her into this relationship and y'all haven't had this conversation yet i would say y'all really need to seriously have a sit down conversation and talk to one another and get to the root of the issue as to why he has an issue with it because if these are genuinely just your friends he should be comfortable with it he should be okay with that if you have not expressed that or you haven't gone into depth of the relationship between you and these guy friends then he's probably not aware of the dynamic between it and he might be a little insecure about it and you have to figure out why he's insecure about it maybe he's been cheated on before or maybe you feel me he was that home that was the homie and then he ended up dating his friends so he think that might be happening or maybe he just jealous because he think one of them guy friends can replace him and or that one of those guy friends is a better suitor than himself and that's his own insecurities that he has to face and i don't have nothing to do with you honestly you just need to get to the root of why he has an issue with it that don't mean you go hang out with him by yourself in his house at 12 o'clock at midnight you still have boundaries that are set within a relationship so i just think y'all need to come to a compromise and figure out what works for y'all too like you should not have to sacrifice your friends because they was there before you and honestly they gonna be there after this relationship because at this age either we gonna get married to this person or we gonna break up but those friends they're gonna be there whether that's your husband or whether it's not but if he not and you just cut your friends off now you don't got no man and you don't got no friends 
And yeah, y'all just need to talk it out. Get to the root of the issue. Talk openly and honestly with one another. And then come to a compromise where y'all can both feel comfortable. There's nothing wrong with having friends of the opposite sex if they are respectful and they respect the boundaries of your relationship. That's all I have for Ask the Empress. I'm gonna do these once a week. DM me your scenario or DM me your question and I'll feature it on my channel. See you next time.